Good evening. This evening I think I'd like to talk about lithium iron phosphate batteries. So, you guys all know, know this boat, Sea Acamaran. Um, so I was coming out, we're going out on the water tomorrow. Turn the uh, bilge pumps on. Get all the water out. And uh, plugged in all the batteries one at a time and that one worked. And that one worked. Can't even see that yet. It's buried in there. But uh, this one didn't work. And uh, it's kind of a funny smell. It's, I can't describe it, but once you smell it, you'll know it. And uh, when I picked it up, I noticed that. Now, it didn't go through. It did deform the plastic a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that, but... It did deform the plastic. It didn't catch on fire, thank freaking God. Um, and that may be a chemical burn. But uh saw that. And then uh, flipped it over and saw that. I'm like, oh, shit. Now, this is in no way a video saying that, oh, my God, look out, lithium batteries blow up, blah, blah, blah. Because, yeah, they do anything well. Um, you can take a regular alkaline battery and if you do certain things to it it will blow up but in any event um the issue here and i am 99.9 .9 sure of that is water infiltration um because the batter they're, they're all out of the same batch of cells um and we've used them all evenly but there was water sitting in there so now i gotta go and i gotta get a whole bunch of those and put all of these in those so they don't do that um, if you think something else could have caused this by all means drop it in the uh, the comments down below and um, tell all your friends because I mean this is I wish I could bottle this and send it through the internet because this is a very very distinct smell and the electrolyte juice is kind of slimy. Um, I immediately brought it outside because it kind of stinks. Um, so in any event, um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, doesn't cost anything. And uh, you guys have a great night. Bye.